Hey, what's up there folks? Core here with Android Community and today we have the brand new Motorola Droid Razor HD here to show everybody the usual small packaging from uh, Motorola and Verizon here. There you can see Droid Razor HD. Um, go ahead and throw that out of the way. A lot of what we're going to see here with the HD is very similar to the Droid Razor M that was recently released on Verizon. Obviously the screen's a little bigger here but hardware and software wise internally um, are quite similar. But Go ahead and open this box here and get started. And as you can see, front and center is that phone. Set that aside. And you can see that Droid Razor HD plastered all over here. Go ahead and open the box here. And we have a very similar uh, setup here. USB charging cable, power plug for the wall, a little bit of paperwork. And right here is actually a key which you should be familiar with. Um, it's a little key that actually lets you access the side of the Razor HD which houses the SIM slot and the micro SD slot. But go ahead and set the box aside and get to the actual hardware, which is the star of the show here. And there it is, the Motorola Droid Razor HD. And uh, right off the bat, you can see this new uh, textured back. Obviously, this is similar to the original Razor as we have the uh, Kevlar coating, but it's it's been slightly changed. It's a little softer and obviously coats the entire back of the device, so it should be extremely scratch resistant and uh, not get all scuffed up like before. Then we do still have a little bit of aluminum here. They've wrapped the whole phone here in an aluminum, aluminum bezel. And as you can see, the phone's extremely thin. It is a Droid Razor, so that is expected. And it slightly curves up here just very lightly for that 8 megapixel rear camera but uh, it's 8.4 millimeters thin and as you can see yeah it's just just thin I do have another 4.7 inch phone with the LG Optimus G here for comparison and they are very similar very similar but this is about the Razer HD so let's go ahead and get started yank off this little bit of plastic and you can see right here is one of the stars of the show this is the 4.7 inch Super AMOLED HD um, 1280 by 720p HD display, that front facing camera, and that we will have on screen navigation keys here with Android 4.0. But if you curve around here, we'll just run over the specs and the uh, hardware. We have the power button here, as usual, power and volume up and down. They've added a little bit of a texture to the power button so you know when you're hitting that compared to the volume up and down, which is a nice touch, small but nice touch. And then as you curve around to the top here, we have that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And as you wrap around the side here, curve that around, we have the, if you can see there, the little hole here to use the key to open it up. And inside is the 3 point, or inside is the 4G LTE SIM card as well as the micro SD. So we have 16 gigabytes of internal storage, but there is an SD slot, which is nice, makes that expandable. Then we have the micro USB charging and syncing and that popular micro HDMI. Um, they have no longer um, going to be offering their lap docks from Motorola, but you can still use the mirror mode straight up to the TV. Then around bottom we have a couple of screws here, which we've been seeing lately on smartphones. And uh, this makes it so the back is actually not removable, so the battery is not removable technically. Um, we do have a 2530 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty big here, so 25-30 milliamp hours should give you plenty of battery life on this sleek powerful phone but under the hood we have that Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, S4 it is a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor with one gig of RAM and then of course the 16 of internal storage then you can add more if you'd like 8, 8 megapixel camera on the rear 1080p video and a single LED flash there's a noise cancellation pinhole back here as well then up front 1.3 front facing camera Let's go ahead and boot this phone up real quick. Get us going here. This will be available in just a few days from Verizon. So uh, I'll let you get a quick look at Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, Jelly Beans should be coming relatively soon here for the Motorola Razor HD. Um, we were told it will arrive first for the uh, Droid Razor M. But either way, both of them should be coming very soon here. Droid Razor Eye. And there it is, quickly booted up. Obviously, there's a little bit of setup required here, but that was a quick look at the brand new Verizon Motorola Droid Razor HD. 
check it out. Stay tuned for a full review. Thanks for watching, guys.